Hi there, and welcome to Tuesday's edition of Brian's Mind. You know what that means. Today was the day that your wife's girlfriends, wives and girlfriends, whatever, were supposed to go to work with no shirt, no tops, no bras on. I haven't received any pictures yet. That's happydude53406 at gmail.com. I'm still waiting for any new pictures out there. Come on. You know, I got made sure my wife went to work today with no top on. I hope you people did too. Okay, now she only works because she wants to. My topic is being poor. Now, I don't know a lot about this topic because I'm far from poor. I don't even work because I don't need to. I have no reason to work. Work is for suckers. I just do this website just for the hell of it. I have probably another 75 million hits a day on this website. So, I donate every penny I make from this website goes to my favorite charity. And I wanted to, for this edition of Brian's Mind, what I think in my mind being poor would be like. I'm not sure, so I'm just going to throw it out there and see what happens. Okay, the first way to tell if you're poor is your appearance. Now, I have the lazy look. Now, why do I have the lazy look? Because I don't have to go anywhere. See, that's the part of being rich. You don't need to go anywhere. You people have to go anywhere, you have to dress up. Now, another way to tell if you're poor is if you've ever had your hair cut at any place that has cost or super in it. Then you know you're poor. Another way you know you're poor is if you have a driver's license. I don't have a driver's I don't even drive I don't even know how to drive my car. I got a phantom outside. I don't I couldn't even tell you how to start the damn thing. I don't even know what it costs. Why? Because I don't care. Another way to tell if you're poor is if you even know what the inside of a grocery store looks like. I only know grocery stores because when my driver takes me past, I see a sign that says supermarket, and I asked him what was so super about it, and he explained it was a grocery store. So I was like, okay, uh, what are groceries? And he explained to me that with people, meaning probably the poor, um, call what they eat. I personally couldn't tell you. Esmeralda does all the shopping for me, so I couldn't tell you. She shops and cooks, so I couldn't even tell you that. But see, there's another way to tell you're poor. You actually know what your kitchen looks like. Me, I couldn't tell you what my kitchen looked like. I don't even know what color it is. I, no idea. Never been in there. You know another way to tell you're poor? You don't have your own bedroom. You actually have to share a bedroom with somebody else. Yes, I'm married, but I wouldn't share a bedroom. That's retarded. See, that's how you can tell when you're poor. You have to share stuff. Me, I don't share anything. Now, what's another good way? This is what I'm assuming poor people do. Is poor people actually, I guess, are complaining about gas prices right now, I heard. on. I only watch Fox... Uh, not Fox News, the Fox Market one where they just discuss the stuff, but I haven't been able to watch it in like a week and a half because I've decided that uh, I'm doing so well financially, why worry about TV? I get all my news strictly from the Weekly Standard, and as far as I can tell, Sarah Palin's number one. Now, um, so anyways, I read in one of those, people were complaining about gas prices being like $4 a gallon or something like that. What the hell's a gallon? What is that? You, what, you go to the gas station and say, give me a gallon of gas, and they give you something and you put it in your car? Okay. Is $4 too much? I have no idea. I, I don't know. Sounds about right. I pay more than that for water. My Esmeralda, who does my cooking, one time mentioned that water was, like, I don't know what she said, like $4 a bottle or something like that. Well, was that a gallon bottle? I have no idea. I don't do, like I said, I just say, Esmeralda, bring me water, and I have water with a lime in it. Isn't that how everybody else does it? How else do you get water? I have no idea. Now, another way to tell your poor is if you wipe your own ass. Now, I personally have James who does that for me. I do my business and James 
wipes me down with a nice little moist that dries me off nicely and on my way I go with the one little a spray I don't know what he sprays I'm assuming it's uh, something by Ralph Lauren not exactly sure I just know somebody told me one time as I was at what you people call a tavern or a bar I didn't see any bars on the wall so I don't understand where you get the old bar thing but I had to stop in for a funeral or something I don't remember why but I ordered a martini extra dry. The guy looked at me like I was retarded. <laughs> Sucker. I only left him a $100 tip, showed him. He'd been nice to me to get more. But anyways, I'm also assuming that poor people actually know what... What was that restaurant called I went past? It was like uh, something with a king. Now, would you really go to a restaurant that advertises itself as a king? I have no idea what kind of king it was. I. I don't know. It had like a drive through or something. The only thing I know that has a drive through is my bank. But I haven't been in my bank in years. I couldn't even tell you. And so anyways, this place is called King and then whatever. And it looked very humbling. One day I might actually stop and check it out. But Esmeralda, Esmeralda told me that I guess you actually have to go somewhere, pick up your food, and pay for it, and sit down. That's retarded. I sit down, you bring me my food, I give you some plastic, and we're done. I don't understand the whole concept of getting your own food. Anyways, I made most of my money in the stock market. I got shares out of this world. I bought, my secret was, is I bought Lehman Brothers and Bear Stern when it was like $45 a share. So I bought millions and now it went through the roof. I even bought probably roughly half a million shares of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. And I made a killing. Now, one day I'm going to have to sell my shares, but I think I'm going to hold on to them for a while. Uh, the market crashed and they went bankrupt. They're worthless. What would bankrupt? Those companies you're talking about. No, they did not. Let me, I'll call my broker. See, you poor people don't know what a broker is. But... Now, you ain't going to see the PIN number i got to enter because you people aren't going to get into my money. Mr. Johnson, resident. Yes. Checking on my balance? 